Bleed black and gold, bust forever. You already know, man. It's your boy, you know, T Green, and I'm back with another one. Boy, I mean, the transfer portal is just crazy right now. Before you could post something, it's already more news coming out. And this is in, y'all. Indiana guard Matthew Befford has announced his decision to transfer from Indiana to the CU Buff, baby. And it's going down. He joining his teammate, Khalil Benson, who just committed to CU this past Saturday. So both teammates who play on the offensive line, like, hey, we got to go, baby. We got to take this thing out the boulder, baby, and go ahead and protect should do a Sanders to make sure, bruh, get this Heisman and, and, and make sure we win some games. And, and most of all, most of all, make sure, bruh, it's not sacked over 50 times again. Like I said, he probably won't see the dirt ever again. This dude here is 6'6". Six, six. Some people got him listed as 315. Some of them got him listed as 305. It don't matter. 6'6", six, six, 300 pounds of pure pressure. And bro got another year left to play, so this is a good look. And this is what we need coming into this 2024 season. Some players who could get out here and make a difference. And man, Belfort started all 38 of 41 games he played for the Hoosers. He started 11 times at left guard, 10 times at right guard, 9 times at the right tackle, and 8 times at the left tackle. So bro know the whole offensive line but the center. So, hey, this is good for us because like I said in my last video, we need a few more pieces where, hey, if somebody get nicked up or banged up or need to come out for a few plays, we got another big dog to step up to the plate, baby, and block. And that's what I like to see. I mean, the line is solid. I'm going to have to do a video on, you know, everybody who just joined and how we see fit but it's too early to do that video just now i'm still collecting data so i can have the right talking points and what i feel you know how this thing should be rocking and rolling but man this is some good news here and uh i'm happy to have him on uh board and uh he, he he's pretty good you know what i mean and uh according to pro football focus he got a grade of 69.2 so that's not bad and and like i say we need some guys who could get down in the trenches you know what i mean and this guy is that you know he only allowed two sacks and 15 quarterback pressures all year so dude is not playing around you know what i mean and he was ranked as the sixth best guard in the big 10 and where are we going right now to the Big Ten. So he know what it takes. He know what kind of effort we looking for. And most of all, he know that we're looking for some dogs and he is that. So this is a good look. Like I said, we only got him for one year, but it's okay. It's okay. Hey, we just need some pieces to this puzzle now. Man, like I said, man, it's going down in a major way. Um I'm, I'm I'm excited. I'm really am. I'm I'm happy that we making the moves that we're making. The office of line is uh is coming together beautifully. Now, only thing that we need to do is get some pieces on that defensive line. I mean, we have the pieces, but at the end of the day, we need one or two dogs who just straight, you know, a defensive end that's just 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 nasty, and one defensive tackle that's just pure a hell razor coming up that middle. You know, just one of them trench fighters, like I like to call them. So once we get those few pieces, whew, man, <laughs> y'all ain't gonna want to see us this year. <laughs> I mean, next year, y'all ain't gonna want to see us, man. Y'all already know the motto. You already know the motto, man. Another day above ground is what? Truly a blessing. Like, share, subscribe. Tune in with your boy, you know, T Green. I'm going to be right back with another one.